Salute, salute, and love. You already know who it is. Jay from Jay's TV. Yeah, you know, you know, salute to everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, scrolling through, man, just trying to, you know, check in with the peoples. You know what I mean? As I start off this beautiful day. And I mean, um, if you woke up, man, you know what I mean? You're blessed, man. Some people went to sleep last night and they didn't get up. But as I'm scrolling through these YouTube streets, I see there's a lot going on. We gonna get right into this. We ain't gonna play around with it. You know what I'm saying? This is a real topic, real issue, and real thing going on. So let's see what 050 China talking about. Let's see what Harlem Legend talking about. And let's get their opinion on the, the situation. And let's see how they break down and how they see and visualize that WAC 100 had an ulterior motive. Okay, because guess what? We all gonna watch and see if he go back and get any time for them cases. If that man don't get a date for them cases, we all know what that was about. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just say this real quick, right? Because I, I, um, I was... That right there, Trife about to talk. What the fuck is you doing on this nigga shit, Trife? Oh my God, man. Yeah, this is Trife Gangster. It just, that's why I did this morning show, because I can't believe Trife is basically having a conversation with this, with this nigga, Wack 100, about his brother death and what's going on in the case. Trife, you, you, you know, I know Trife, he's a fish you nigga. What the fuck is you doing on Clubhouse? Trife, what is you doing on Clubhouse? Let's get to that. Come on, I'm gonna finish hearing this shit out. It's just talk, real talk, the place for real thoughts and real talk, you dig? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. We got Trife Gangsta in the building speaking with Wack 100. I, I addressed Manolo Rose outside the courtroom because the YouTube dude had just asked me for an interview after I have testified. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I told him, I'm good. I'm not, I'm not doing no interviews right now. Gotcha. So he's standing right next to me waiting for me to say something. And Manolo Rose comes out to court and start talking about how Troy have is lying. So he, he run his mouth like he was in the green room that night. So I, mm -hmm. that's why I said something to him. He yeah. was saying something in front of me and I'm not jacking. I'm dealing with it right away. You're dealing with But see, this was crazy, Troy. Right? Uh, Mano is kind of tapping with Manolo saying. He's saying that that went a whole nother way. Irving Plaza, you were there that I night, I was Mano. there. It, it happened in the... Um the dressing room that I was occupying with me and Uncle Murder. We was performing that night, or we were set to perform that night. My only issue with that is, is that um, I just don't agree with the narrative that's been put out there as if, you know, Tax Tone was there to try to look for a problem. Tax Tone was actually there. That man was there chilling, mm -hmm. right? That man was there, you know, you know, chilling, you know, enjoying the moment. And, you know, you know, these other dudes came in there looking for a problem. These other dudes came in there with that energy, looking to try to have a moment just didn't go their way. 
So right there, you have two different narratives. You got one from Trife Gangster because he was actually at the court, the trial, every day at the trial, hearing the testimony, hearing witness witnesses' testimony, hearing the DA side, hearing the defense side, and he's talking about the whatever evidence that they spoke about directly in court. And then you got Mano perspective coming from an individual that was actually there the night that the incident happened. But when you look at the overall picture, it's only one truth. Everybody who's paying attention, if you believe Tripe Gangsta is now using this whole situation for clout, for clout, put a fire sign. Because I'm going to be honest, this is what I'm starting. Who the, f like, it, it keep him, Tripe, what the fuck is you doing talking to WAC 100? First of all, WAC do not like New York niggas. Let's get to that. WAC 100 do not like New York niggas. And this is a New York case. So the only reason WAC 100 is involved and got something to say, because it's a New York case, and he want to make New York niggas look stupid as hell. Let's finish hearing what Trife got to say. I'm going to say this again. A lot of people talking. But they're not talking facts. They're talking internet rumors. Well, he said he was back there. Mano was right. there. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about Mano. I'm not talking about what Mano said. Uh -huh. Somebody that was in the building. Right? I'm yeah. talking about the facts of came out that trial. So I love you. Work, I love you, but cut it out, homie. Come on, let's finish. He was covered in a, in a trap in the car. Gotcha. The DNA, they traced the DNA back to South Carolina. Dude said he sold it to tax. They fed snatched tax to that. Hit him with felony possession and bring him over state lines. He pled guilty in the feds and he had to plead guilty in the feds. He pled guilty that he was in possession of the nine. My brother, nine million, nine million uh -huh. Caltech. He, yeah. he had the Caltech. He brought the Caltech into Urban Plaza and that on that night, my brother was and other people, he didn't say that he did it, but he pled guilty that that is the, that did that. This is what he did in the feds. This is federal records. The feds did not sentence him. He's, he has to be sentenced by the feds too. So the way the feds work, and you know this, yeah, yeah. that crime is not over. So once he gets... <coughs> oh, yeah, the fans, so the fans ain't even charged him crossing the straight line. No, they did. That's the first two charges. But they're going to expedite his points when he gets sentenced because he's been found guilty on the state charges. So are, they, are the feds going to let the state handle it or are they going to no, run the vote? Gonna, the feds are going to sentence him too. Oh, got you. Yeah, he, he bow yeah. yeah, that's the, He gave me henchman. He bow -legged. Yeah, yeah, this, this, yeah, the fact is wait was waiting for the outcome of this case because you know fast is based on points. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. gonna bring his points up. So bring he points up. So he's yeah, gonna, just he's like gonna, Young Thug, just like, just like Thug got caught with them silences and them when they made the arrest. It ain't even in the state case, and the feds ain't said nothing about it. They gonna let the state get done. Whatever he gets here, get the points up. <clears throat> then they gonna come in on because depending on how many points he got, depending on what type of deal they gonna let him with. He, he played good. He don't get no deal in the feds. He's gonna get sentenced. He's, there's nothing to talk about. I don't get to discuss nothing with them. So wait, he already fled out the feds? He fled out in the feds. Okay. The, the, listen, the, the, state, the state in this case, as part of their evidence, they used his plea in the feds to prove that that was his weapon and that he brought that weapon into the Oh, nasty work. That's nasty work right there. Nasty That's work. Fact. Nasty What's up, work. Yeah. What's up? That's, yeah, fact. that's nasty work. That's nasty that's, work. Yeah, that's fact. So now he got, and the fact is, he got found, and a lot of people don't even know what happened at this trial. Yo, this man was caught with, with a cell phone. Six cell phones since he's been on the island. One of those cell phones. No! Trife! No! Now, yeah, yeah. They, he talking oh now. He God. going in too much. Yeah, he, he talking too Yo. much. Yo! He talking Trife. too much now. He hollering the phones and all that. Let's not even play around. Let's get right to it. Tune in, tune in to Jai Ace TV on YouTube. Tune in, tune in to Jai Ace TV. Go subscribe. Watch all the videos on, on, on my page. Tune in, tune in to Jai Ace TV on YouTube. You don't want to miss the content on there. Dealing with real life situations and, and, and current events. Go tune in and subscribe. Gangster and all that, man. You know, new Trife Gangster for a while, man, man. Brother done did a whole lot of great things and and one of the key things that I respect the brother for because 
I seen them myself put a lot of people on, man, help people get jobs. You know, um, dudes that came home from prison and stuff like that, dudes that had trouble past. I seen them give people opportunities and all that, man. So I definitely got to salute them for that, man. And, um, and even with that being said, there's a lot of people that don't like Trife Gangster that been waiting for an opportunity like this to crush him or to just annihilate his whole image. People been waiting for this. He has a long, a plethora, a long list of people that don't like him, that been wanting to see him fail. So when you see 050 in Harlem going at Trife, they going at him because they thought he would know better than to let this dude white 100 play him like that. Murder. They proved manslaughter. Manslaughter. That's 15. That, that's the minimum. Yeah. That's, that's the minimum in New York if you if you plead 15. guilty. If you plead guilty, that's the minimum. Manslaughter. Yeah, he got manslaughter. So you go to trial, you're not getting no minimums when you go to trial. Second. Well, well, let me, okay, he got multiple okay. cases. Everybody right. consecutive. He, no, he, got, he got yeah. multiple cases. Hey, I want to ask you something. Is it me? Or do it feel like this nigga trying to get the most time out this shit? I don't know, y'all, man. It just, it just sound like it to me. I don't know, y'all. Y'all use your own opinion. I'm only here to put to bring the news to y'all. And we got just had a call, a call up and said Brooklyn took an L. A big L. As far as Troy Ave goes, as far as uh uh, uh trife gangster goes ain't trife from brooklyn i know he ain't from Harlem. i'm just saying y'all man they, did they take a big l here is he talking a little too much let's get right it ain't done yet let's get into it my nigga but let's keep going what that is but the fact that well i didn't never knew that the nigga had pending gun charges that they found out to the fact and that that's really what they why he took the stand is to evade that I, I beg to differ. That's why I, I'm going to... Well, he he going to get sentenced for that, though? Yeah, like that. yeah he, I, I didn't, listen, I didn't know... I didn't speak to him since for years. So I don't. I wasn't sure what he was doing. So it was a, It was one thing when Nick said I was pressuring him. I ain't, after no, I, no, I, we, I, ain't even, we ain't even entertaining that. I'm just saying, we're not entertaining that. Nothing, none of that. We ain't even... But I'm saying... Now, look, look, I never, look, I didn't look, see look, him look, for this years. Is crazy. I didn't, so you see what Wack is doing? Wack is doing this shit now. So you see what Wack is doing? See, y'all niggas don't... Y'all didn't even catch that. Let me tell y'all what this is. The Jedi mind trick to get him to keep talking. No, no, no. We ain't even gonna go there. You gonna act like you a real nigga and say they don't want you to talk about some real shit. But meanwhile, you gonna tell a whole shit about the case because that's what Wack really wants. He wasn't in the courthouse. There's a lot of details we all don't know. You think what I'm saying, y'all? It's called the Jedi mind trick, dumb niggas. We gotta keep it 100 with each other, y'all. Is this the right thing to do? To go to whack 100 and give up and spill the beans? Or is this public record and he can speak what he want? I'm just saying, y'all. All right? Is this man that, that he can say what he want? His brother got killed in this. Rest in peace to Banger. His brother. So should we look at that like this? I mean, this man was, uh, he had a whole uh, organization at one time. That was good. That was, I believe, that was going against police brutality and stuff like that, helping the kids. So, Trent Gangster was actually getting funds from the state. You heard? So, he had to be on a different type of level at one point, right? Right? He had to work with them people at one point because you actually have to work with the police if you're opening up a foundation in the hood and you're going to get government funding. You understand where I'm going with this, y'all? So is we calling Trife Gangster a civilian now? And he's been doing that for years. So can we still call him a gang member? Can we still call him somebody that's out in his common sense, y'all? I mean, come on now. I mean, sometimes we got to weigh it out. That's why I'm here for, to show y'all the other side of it. Oh, man, we look disgusting out here, homie. Like, yeah, I just... On, bro. Yeah, I just did the live, you know, about this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But and, I don't care if it's public and, record, my nigga. Nah, nah, there's a lot of things that I said, and I'm going to be real with everybody, that I should have just been straight up about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because after the show, after the show, one of the homies like, yo, China, 
you got to speak how you feel about this subject. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter if you cool with a nigga, you fuck with a nigga. If a nigga do something that's out of pocket, I'm going to treat him the same way I treat a, a regular nigga. You feel me? Facts, facts. If it's out of line, it's out of line. Now, the nigga tripe did wrong, homie. He was running his fucking mouth too much, respectfully. Mm. He was running his mouth too much. I understand, I understand your brother, rest in peace, the banger. But we leave this shit in the street, homie. Yeah, 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 facts. Why the gangsters we don't, always poking on the internet? Yeah, right? yeah, we New oh, York man. niggas. We New York niggas, we don't go to whack 100 for nothing. Respectfully, we don't go to whack for nothing. And that shit, that shit got me tight because I try to like cover it up on the show. Yeah, yeah, and I see, I see. That, and niggas hit me like, yo, China, that ain't cute, homie. You know, or because you fuck with a nigga, if a nigga did wrong, you speak the same way you speak about a nigga that you don't even know like that. Fact. You feel me? Nigga did wrong, he did wrong. You went to whack 100 and opened your fucking mouth. Mm -hmm. It looked bad doing it. That right? shit looked mad bad. Whack 100 York. ain't doing nothing but using you for clout. Using Facts. your brother, using your brother for clout. Clout. That's all he doing. Like, come on, homie. Like, like niggas look at Trife differently. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if it's the fucking if 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 he turned the civilian. I respect it, that nigga. Turned the civilian. Don't talk about that gangster shit no more. Yeah, yeah. Just just switch you it can't, over. You can't. You can't. You you gotta take. You gotta switch your whole name, nigga, to McFadden now, nigga. Mr. Yeah. McFadden. He sounded and, like a whole lawyer. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you, y'all. He sounded like a whole lawyer. You hear me? There you go. There you, you go hear now. Me? There you go now. There yeah, it ain't no more tripe gangsters, Mr. McFadden. Should keep going in now. I think somebody calling him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is bad, bro. This is I'm bad. back in. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, once you become a civilian, it's Mr. McFadden. Once I acknowledge I'm a full-blown civilian and I come on niggas podcast and I speak like a civilian, my name ain't China Brim no more. Facts. My name Facts. is Mr. Williams. <laughs> nigga, your name is Mr. McFadden now, nigga. Respectfully, I still love the nigga. But he did the same thing Troy Ave did. Running his fucking mouth. Talking too much. I'm just saying. I didn't know Trent Gangster beforehand. I heard of him. I've never had an interview with him. I, I know of him. So to my understanding, he was a five-star in this shit. He was an OG in this shit. So, so how does a valid, you heard, top nigga, you heard, want this much attention? Let's look at the overall picture. And let's say, rest in peace to Banger. Because at the end of the day, he should still be here. He shouldn't be deceased right now. Because at the end of the day, when you look at the reality of it, he's dead for what? For some bullshit that shouldn't have happened. Some shit that could have been avoided. But a lot of times, through social media and all these different outlets, a lot of people be playing games, a lot of people be beefing. And sometimes when certain people bump heads, it's on and popping. You know what I'm saying? The brother lost his life, left kids behind. You got to think about all that. And the overall thing is what did people learn from the situation? Because evidently, Troy Ive ain't learned nothing. Because he continued to make videos. He continued to pop shit. He continued to beef with people. He ain't learned nothing. And that's the sad part about the whole thing. Every day he's making a video, he's talking shit. Sad reality, man. May, may bang a rest in peace, man. You know what I'm saying? Salute, salute to everybody, man. This is Jai's TV. I'm signing out. You know, y'all go ahead and subscribe for those that's not subscribed to the channel. 
Hit that notification bell so that when I drop a video, you be notified right away. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. Salute.